Tesla releases Megapack XL using LFP batteries, which Tesla uses in its cars, with 50% more power. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Tesla has released a new Megapack XL, which is 50% more powerful than the previous one. That's huge huge increase and improvement. In addition, the new battery is large and powered by LFP batteries, which is the next step in the development of the company's energy business. Tesla offers a wide range of services and product products that aim to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. One of the company's most important products for this is Megapack, an energy storage system designed to stabilize the power grid and reduce reduce dependence on fossil fuels. To expand the impact of this product, Tesla began construction of the mega factory in Latrobe in September 2021, which I had reported earlier, and has big plans for the facility. In addition, the company has upgraded its Megapack to increase its value to the industry. Reddit user Space S3X spotted that Tesla had quietly made changes to the Megapack specifications on its website and they are very impressive. I'm just surprised how come Tesla doesn't do a press release. Tesla needs a press release department, right, to say about these things. Otherwise, people, what if they don't find what other things we have found so we have have not found so far. Anyway, most importantly, its capacity has been increased by almost 50% from 2.6 megawatt hour to 3.9 megawatt hour. The mega pack itself has become 64% heavier, that's 33,000 pounds, and larger in size, longer by 6 feet, wider by uh, uh, 2 inches, which is 3%, and taller by 1 foot, 17%. These changes indicate that Tesla has begun using a LFP battery cells, which are likely manufactured by Cattle, because Cattle provides uh, LFP batteries for Tesla vehicles, Model 3 and Model Y, and uh, according to earlier rumors, which should have significantly reduced the cost of production. In early 2021, Tesla CEO Elon Musk revealed that the company is looking to move to cobalt-free lithium iron phosphate batteries, that's LFP batteries, in its stationary energy storage products. He explained that the bulk and cost of the cell is in the cathode for high energy cells, such as those that the company uses in most of the cars it produces. Nickel based lithium ion cells are utilized. They have a higher energy density and yield longer range than iron based cells. However, for stationary storage, the energy density is not that important because it just stays on the ground. That is why the vast majority of stationary storage facilities produced by the company will technically be iron-based lithium-ion cells with an iron phosphate cathode. In fact, the phosphate part is not needed and it's just iron or nickel, Musk explained. Here's what he said. However, stationary storage, the energy density is not an important because it's just staying on the ground. And so I think the vast majority of stationary storage will be iron-based lithium-ion cells with an iron phosphate cathode technically. But the phosphate phosphate part is unnecessary, it's really just the iron or nickel. The exclusion of the controversial cobalt makes production not only more affordable from a financial point of view, but also more acceptable from a moral one. Another factor is that the availability of such materials is relatively low, while iron is a very common material. Thus, the production of energy storage devices using cobalt-free lithium-iron phosphate batteries will solve a number of serious problems and lead to high-quality cheaper and uncontested products. So I think that's very interesting that Tesla is releasing the Megapack XL using LFP batteries with 50% more power. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Friends, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And I'll see you soon in our next report.